Hello everyone and welcome to Enjoy SharePoint. I am Bhavna. Uh, so in this uh, today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to connect the most recent file from a folder in Power BI. Uh, so this is the scenario where uh, I have a folder and uh, that folder is keep on updating with the live data and uh, I want Power BI to pick the most recent file in order to process the data in in order to execute that data into beautiful report and beautiful uh, uh, dashboards so we'll see how we can make power bi to choose the most recent file so for that uh, first of all we need to open the microsoft power bi desktop tool so this is my uh, power bi desktop and uh, in order to get data from a folder we need to click here get data and i'll choose more in the first category all i have a folder so now i'll go and uh, find my folder is on desktop and data and I'll click OK okay so let me show you the structure of uh, this data folder as you can see here uh, I have some files here and uh, all have a similar name since uh, it is updating on a regular basis uh, and uh, if we click on a file it's just a text file with some data it's a, a normal CSV file so now as you can see here uh, here we have uh, all the files uh, product 1 2 3 and 4 and uh, now we have option to combine or whether uh, to edit we can combine also but uh, uh, for now we will edit the file okay so quickly the first thing which we will do is uh, the date accessed here we will change the order to descending now you are seeing the most uh, recently used file uh, is uh, coming on the top uh, once we have done this then we will change keep rows so we just want the single file so for that we will just make this row limit to only one we want the one row with the most uh, recently used file so now uh, under the content uh, when we'll click here you're seeing the data I have a product name and sales so now we'll click on ok And it will show us uh, our data uh, along with the source name product name and the sales so we have done with all the changes in uh, this query editor now we'll click close and apply okay so we are uh, ready with the data so now we'll see how it looks uh, so we will have some table and we will so under values now we will drag uh, sales and the product name we will just uh, make the style little bit bigger so that we can view under values and we will change uh, the font size to 30 so that at least we can view the data so this is our data along with the product name and the uh, sales now we'll choose a quick uh, visualization and uh, for that we will choose all the same okay so so far this is the thing along with the data so now we will see uh, how power bi uh, takes uh, the most recent file as its own um, so now we'll go and uh, change the data 
we'll go to the desktop and this is my file now what I'll do I'll just open this file edit and I'll make some changes uh, to the file suppose I'll make it 400 uh, for the TV let it be 100 and for the iPad the bigger number is uh, 900 now we will click on save as and I'll give the name as 5 so that we can identify this okay so this is the most recent file and uh, we just uh, so now we only need to do one thing which is uh, refresh because power bi will do its job uh, on its own so now we'll just refresh and we'll see whether it is uh, taking the recent file or not okay so as you are seeing here for ipad i gave a 900 for desktop 400 and for tv it's 100 and this visual also gets updated based on the values so how simple and how easy it is uh, to get the most recent data when we are connecting to a folder so I hope uh, you found this video to be very helpful and uh, uh, for the more future videos, please subscribe and like this channel. Have a nice day and thank you so much.